going to start this YouTube video off with some close-up macro shots of this giant Hickneumann wasp. The species is Megariza nortoni. And I collected this male here in my backyard in Portland, Oregon. Here on the very last day of May, 2019. Yesterday I collected a female and she made a trip down to Portland State University with me today where I left her with a researcher who's going to spend a little bit of time studying ichneumon wasps. Let's see if we can take this in even further without losing focus. Oh, that's pretty good. Nice shots of the wings, all those individual cells. Taxonomists often identify things on the basis of the structure of these little individual cells in wings for certain families of insects. And they have names for all of the individual structural veins and the cells. It's really quite fascinating. Taxonomy is a beautiful science as well. Everything makes sense right down from the kingdom Animalia to this species here, Nortoni. So this is what the head of this insect looks like. Not uncommon at all for them to start cleaning themselves like that. You saw it briefly cleaning its antennae. closer there. Sometimes we lose a little bit of focus, but there we go. Of course, they're picking up information about the world around them with their antennae vibrating back and forth like that. And there's a really good shot of the abdomen since it just flew out of the cup that I had it in and <laughs> landed on the camera. This one's getting a little flighty, so I think it's time to put it back. Quite a few bumblebees flying around the black light here tonight. But what I'm excited about is this Ichneumon wasp. Come here. I've been seeing what I wanted. I've been seeing these guys fly around my windows. They're in the upper level quite a bit lately, but I've not been able to see one close up yet. Not a species that I saw at the old house. Come on, come, come with me so we can take a look at you. Almost gotcha. Well, quite a few bumblebees around the black light here tonight. But and then they're like, oh, oh these things are really cool. I'm right there you know? right now. Yeah. I and, then they, and then they transition. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I finally got a reason today. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been really oh, excited to try it. And you <laughs> <one? laughs> I got that on video. Yeah. <laughs> so this probably looks exactly like last night's video. Some bumblebees buzzing around in here. Wow, look at that one. It's so pale and yellow. But what's different here is that the female ichneumon is absent from the video. And yet, what do we have crawling around? Underneath. 
underneath. Let's take a look. Get over here. Ah, gotcha. So here he is, the male of last night's species. Come on back here, buddy. Well, always hard to grab there in a mess full of bees. But there he is. He lacks the ovipositor. And I believe the species is Mega Risa Nortoni. I looked it up earlier. There we go. I'm going to clean off his antennae there. Beautiful orange markings on the abdomen. And so this species, the females, they parasitize horn tails, which are in the same order, Hymenoptera, as these. And our friends, the bees down there, the bumblebees. And what the females do is they deposit an egg via that very long ovipositor. It looks like a giant stinger, but it's called an ovipositor. They drill it into wood, which is one of the reasons people sometimes call them stump stabbers. And they deposit an egg in proximity to a horntail larva. Horntail is another winged hymenopteran. Looks a bit like a wasp. And I see those so infrequently that it's surprising how frequent I'm seeing this particular species here in the backyard. Really curious about that bumblebee right there. It's <laughs> really beautiful. I'm not sure I've ever seen one so pale. I might guess it's a male, but I really don't know. Maybe one of you knows. Oh, stump stabber. <laughs> 